Normally, the four pulmonary veins join the left atrium. In congenital anomaly, if they join the right atrium through one of the veins leading to the right atrium, it is known as total anomalous pulmonary venous drainage or even total anomalous pulmonary venous connection. Sometimes it is also known as total anomalous pulmonary venous return. If only one or two of the veins are joining the right side, then it is called partial anomalous pulmonary venous connection or return or drainage. If uh, there is total anomalous pulmonary venous connection, survival is not possible unless there is a good atrial septal defect. A large AST in the presence of TAPVC is good for survival. And because of the mixing of blood in the atrium, in the atria, there is cyanosis. So it is a cyanotic congenital heart disease with increased pulmonary blood flow because of the left right shunt across the atrial septal defect. There is both left right and right left shunt. There is pulmonary plethora and increased pulmonary blood flow. So this is one of the cyanotic congenital heart diseases with increased pulmonary blood flow. If the atrial septal defect is very small, then baby will present with severe cyanosis needing some intervention in the newborn period. If it is very large, sometimes it may go on to adult life also without recognition, very rarely. There are three major types of TAPVC and one more type known as mixed type. Major types are supracardiac, intracardiac and infracardiac. Fourth is of course a mixture of all the three in combinations. This is supracardiac TPC. Pulmonary veins join a common venous chamber. From there it rises as a vertical vein and joins the brachiocephalic vein. From the brachiocephalic vein pulmonary venous return reaches the right atrium that is supracardiac TAPVC. So when the vertical vein is dilated, brachiocephalic artery is also dilated. Superior